If I can Last record it. <laughs> <laughs> That's new. That is new. What is it? That is the axle. No. Differential. No. The steering rack. <gasps> oh! Is it? Hello and welcome back to Car Throttle. My name is Alex. I'm Jack. I'm Ethan. And today we're going to do a challenge video like no other. You see, lads, we've been sent in a video from none other than RJ Devera from Maguire's US, the sponsor of today's video. Shall we have a little watch? Let's watch. I've no idea what he's saying, but here goes nothing. Hey guys, RJ Devera here from Maguire's. Now I know how you guys love to buy older cars and do challenges with them. There's just been one thing missing from it all. And that's a little bit of American muscle. So I'm challenging you guys to find and buy an older American muscle car. I also know you love your rules. So here's a couple of them. One, it's got to be a V8. And bonus points if it's manual and a cool color. Now the budget. 10 grand. Let's yeah. say 5,000 pounds, oh, which is no. about 6,200 US dollars. And oh yeah, you've only got 24 hours to bag a car and have your very own American muscle experience in the UK. Good luck. Looking forward to see what you can find and what you do with it. Ah, ah. so we've got half the budget we wanted, 24 hours to find an American V8 with a cool color. I think we're just gonna have to crack on straight away. Yeah. There's no time to waste. Thanks, RJ. <laughs> I've never bought an American car in the UK, so I've no idea how much these things go for. I hope that five grand is enough. As for cars, I'm thinking Mustang. Mustang. <laughs> Camaro. Oh, out of nowhere. Um, I'm gonna dive into, I think cars and classics. I think that's gonna do me well. What about you? Auto Trader. I'll see what Gumtree's got. Oh, uh, what about not... Facebook? Uh, I don't wanna go there. I'm gonna open this quite wide. 100 miles. Is a Mustang a muscle Ooh. car? Yes. No, no it's, it's, a, pony a, it's a pony car. Don't it, ask me the difference. No. There is actually an article on carthrottle.com, the differences between pony cars and muscle Are cars. Are we allowing pony cars as well then? Yes. Okay. If they're American? Yes. I found it. I found what we're going to get straight away. So should we just go? I'd need a little bit more detail and price would it's be useful. 2,450. It's a Ford Crown Victoria. It's a limo. <laughs> it's not a muscle car. Just because it's oh, American. Oh, yeah, yeah, mean... yeah. I, I, I'm stuck in the American thing. <laughs> this is bad. There's five cars in Gumtree. <laughs> <laughs> Two of the ads are the same. <laughs> <laughs> and only one of them's in our price range. <laughs> I, however, have found a 1967 Ford Mustang Fastback V8. That's not 5K. No, not. I mean, there's a five in it. There's a five in it, yeah. And then there's seven. It's 57 grand. <laughs> however, if we go there, we can make up a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't exist, like, oh, mate, the arches are rusty, or, oh, that gearbox is or, oh. on its way out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then we'll be like, we'll give you five grand. Oh, no, you're in! Put it on the maybe pile. All right. Oh, Ford Mustang 3.8. V6. Oh. It's a Pontiac. For, 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 Fiero. For, yeah. Is that a muscle car? I don't think. Is it? No, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not got it's a V8 American, though, does it? Though. Kyle, it kind of looks like a jacked up MR2, doesn't it? It does. Does that have a V8? It's going to have something. A V6. Oh, we've got to impress RJ as well, haven't we? We this do. Is, this is someone that's been in the Fast and Furious movie. Yeah, he's, he's, we're going to want to be his friends. Yeah. And if we come to him with a Mustang V6 or a Pontiac Fiero, yeah, we're yeah. going to be dead to him. Yeah, he's going to laugh us out the room. Yeah. Hello, Ford Mustang GT Cabrio. Five litre. It's Bordeaux red. That's like a maroony sort of colour, isn't it? A rooney? <laughs> maroony. A Wade Rooney colour. <laughs> Bald on the top. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these disgusting wheels. Yeah, they're horrid. Ah, slight problem. Still in the Netherlands. And I refuse to go to a country where the average height is about six foot nine. All right, so you've missed one on Car and Classic. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. It's bright yellow as well. I don't know how you missed it. Ford Mustang 94, five litre V8. Oh, we don't, we don't want that one. It's imported from Japan in 06 as well. Ooh. That's cool. Five grand. That's stated. Too much. Oh, yeah. this might be an issue. I will accept cash only. Ah. Ah. Did we? You can only take out like 300 pounds at a time. Oh, so we, cash we can't even get the cash for this. Time. I only walk around with four grand on me. Oh, <sighs> so that's your lunch yeah. money, isn't it? I've done all the Mustangs. Okay. Uh, there's three in the price range. Good. They're all V6s. Not so good. A great wall. Great wall steed. Yeah. Talk to me about the great wall steed. That is a great uh, truck. 
a two litre. Yeah. Are we see, talking about the Steed? Yeah. Oh. Four by four. Oh. Um, is that American? No, oh. it's Chinese. How much? Uh, four nine nine nine. Perfect. So, uh, okay, I've got four cars in the maybe pile. How about you, Jack? I've got none. Hey. But I'm still try struggling to work out what a muscle car is. Uh, RJ, you've set us a, a task that we're struggling with, and Ethan doesn't even know if he's here or not. Jack, you look like you've given up. I have. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Every week we say this is the hardest one. This is the hardest one. This and then is RJ the comes one. in <laughs> and he f's us over. <laughs> Something that springs to mind. Do you remember when we were talking cars with? Mike Brewer. Yes. And he said, finding good cars can be difficult unless you go via the forums, like owners groups and stuff like that. Uh, good idea. So, shall we try that? Maybe just Google Mustang Owners Club. He's found something. I found it. What is it? It's American. Oh, it's going to be a <laughs> hamburger or something. <gasps> you put that away. <laughs> put it away. You never say that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not having that. Plus, it's not going to be the V8, is it? That's not the SRT version. 3.2 litre? Yeah, and? Oh. I thought you'd be able to work out from that. <laughs> no, well, I, I have worked it out. I'm just waiting for you to work it out. That's a V6. That is a V6, yeah. yeah. I've messaged a whole bunch of Mustang owners groups, and one guy, a guy called Jason, from Simply Mustangs UK, has actually got in touch, and he said, I am selling a motor vehicle. Here's my number. So I'm going to give him a call, Hope that he's in budget and then maybe we can be done with it and I can have five whole no. four one two one. whole points. Mike's tip of going through the forums could be a very good shout. Should I give him a call? Mike's tip. <laughs> Jason speaking, good morning. Hello Jason, my name's Alex. I was just chatting to you on uh, on Facebook. 1995 5-litre GT manual. It's got, let's think, mileage is about 60,000, a couple of owners. That's it's really low. Yeah, been in the country for a couple of years. It's a lovely car, mate. And uh, leather interior? Yeah, beige leather. Not to everyone's taste, but it does look good. <laughs> so, it does look good. Yeah, and um, what colour is it? It's burgundy. Oh nice. yeah, we like that. Um, yeah, no, it, it sounds it sounds like something we'd um, we'd want to have a quick look at. Uh, the yes, only sir. thing the only thing that um, I obviously don't know yet is is price. Yeah, so I've advertised it at just under about five or under seven thousand pounds. So it's six nine nine five. Ah, I'll, I'll be completely frank with you. I've got a really really strict budget of uh, five thousand pounds. Is that is that something you'd consider? Yeah, I'll consider it really quickly, Alex. No. <laughs> 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 yeah, there's no way I could. I mean, listen, we could always knock a little bit off. That's not a problem. But not two, two grand. £5,000. It's nowhere near it, mate. Not going to happen. That's a shame. Yeah, you wouldn't happen to, to have any other cars for sale. Are you specifically after a Mustang? Um, not not really, but you know, I would like a Mustang. I do know a guy, um, a good mate of mine, Harry, that's just... I think he's just picked one up, actually. May well be within your price range. It's probably more what you're looking for than what I've got, if that makes sense. So, so his Mustang is more of a shitbox, is that what you're saying? And the <laughs> nicest <laughs> possible terms. I can certainly drop you his number if you want, mate, and, and give him a call and see what you can do. Yeah, th uh, that would be amazing. Yeah, 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 that'd be great. No problem. Great, Good well, luck in your search. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, cheers no for all your help. He's a really nice guy. <laughs> yeah, really nice. Who'd have thought the Mustang owner would be that nice? <laughs> I've jumped over to eBay. And I found a Mustang, 4.6 V8 American muscle car, 5995. Was it an SN95? I don't know. I'll work my magic. Yeah. Just say, I like the sound of everything except for the price. You're going to have to do something for me <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, you should open with that. That sounds yeah. good. Yeah, right. I'll respond to that. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, I'm calling about the um, Mustang you've got for sale. I uh, want to know a bit more about it. Is it running okay and any issues with it? Yeah, yeah no, it runs decent. I have a really tight budget, unfortunately, of five grand. Are you able to come down to that at all? No, no, of course not. Okay. No, that car's worth six every day of the week. Okay. All right. I've put it this way, I've had loads of offers and none of them have been under the asking price. Fine, okay. Uh, that's, right. You probably don't want five then. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye, bye. I was so sure he'd be like, yeah, yeah go on then, mate. But his tone made it sound like, yeah, you can take oh, it. He sounded so cheery about the fact he was oh, offered yeah, five. The I'm... best reaction to that. <laughs> no! no! <laughs> <laughs> fair play oh, to him, fair thought, play to I him. I thought that was so close. Oh, oh. Good work. Yeah, good good work, effort. Yeah. That was strong.
Now, I'm gonna come in and sweep up, right? Because I've got Harry's number from Jason. Hello. Hi, is that Harry? <laughs> Hello, mate. Uh, my name's Alex. I've been speaking to uh, a guy called Jason. He mentioned your name and he thinks that you've picked up a car uh, today or yesterday that you might be selling? Yeah, so I recently picked up a, um, a 94 SM95 GT, which, uh, which I'm going to be looking to sell. Okay, cool. Um, and what kind of price are you looking for that? Uh, probably around uh, five grand mark. What colour is the car, Harry? Blue. Grey leather interior. That sounds really good. Would you mind uh, just pinging me your address and maybe a few pictures as well and then I'll give you a call back? Yeah, sure. Okay. No worries. Okay, nice one, Harry. Um, and, and sorry, are you available today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no worries. lovely. Cheers, Harry. No Speak problem. soon. Okay. Bye, 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 bye. I'm sorry. No way. I'm yeah, well sorry. Ridiculous. I've sold. Right? You didn't even do any of the work. The just... owners club did all the work for you. I thought outside the box, all right? No. I went deep into Facebook. I had to hack Facebook. I have got a video from Harry about the car. I think we should go and have a look at that. I think so too. Do you want to drop him a message? Yeah. Then we can eat. <gasps> oh Your my God. favourite. I can't believe Shall you. we? What do you mean you can't believe it's me? Ridiculous. I am the king of the car deal. It's ridiculous. Mike is the king of the car deal. All right, Daddy. Was, Daddy's was, the king of the car deal. You're the prince of the car deal. <laughs> you think I'm a prince? You're the court jester of the car deal. <laughs> I've got you to do it all for me. Choppy, choppy. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so I've just picked up the keys to the Mustang from the owner, Harry. And there it is. Oh, look at that. Mustang, Harry. What do we think? Blue. What well on, Ace. These are the optional wheels. These are 17s. Bit of Mustang knowledge for you. Someone picked these. I don't know anything about these, and I don't know what to expect or what to understand. Well, I think you can expect cheap interior plastics. What about the center console there? How's that feel? Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen an uglier that door card. This will all clean up very nicely there. Oh, we got some CDs. Hot, Hot in, the in the city. city. Got a little Japanese label there. That's pretty cool. So this is an American car imported to Japan and then taken to Europe. I like it better now that it's a Japanese Yeah, it's Japanese been import. around the whole world. Oh, what's there. behind there? <gasps> what's Ooh. that? Is it a fridge? Is that a fridge? No, it's not a fridge. Why would it have massive leads coming out of it if it was a fridge? The coolant cables. Right, so the key that looks like it should be the key is not a key for anything. You can listen to your Spice oh, Girls on that. Oh, that's what that is. Yeah. Listen to my hot in the city. Oh, it says hood on it. Oh. That, say, that's a good sound, that. doesn't say bonnet, it says hood. What the hell? Strange, that. Oh, yeah, the wheels on the left. I didn't even really take notice of that. Come on. Right, we've got a V8 engine. Yeah. And this is the five litre. Yeah. And Keep going. Come um, on, you're impressing the audience. We've got a supercharger. The washer fluid only no cap. the one with the red cable well point at it this one that's the supercharger that's, that's the supercharger yeah fair play no you got that no, right. yeah yeah, yeah. spot on what's this thing that's again? the alternator gonna want to get that changed at some point <laughs> that actually looks new <laughs> it does, look oh, does it? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah it does yeah now <laughs> looking at this engine what concerns you the uh, strut brace it's got to be blue see are you concerned about anything that you're looking at currently that ethan is umming and ahhing about i mean have another little look anything of Concern, Ethan. Mm, uh, no. No, we're good. We're there. It's all there. Okay, excellent. So uh, We've got an alternator. Yep. We've got a battery. We've got a supercharger. Yeah. We've got an intake. We've got an engine. Uh, Jack, is there anything that Ethan might have missed? Ethan, have you missed the fact that at some point it shit its pants? Where? All this brown. Do you reckon that brown should be there? Is that not allowed? Well, I mean, it's allowed. I mean, it's clearly here, but it's... I mean, if I was buying this car and I looked in this engine, I wouldn't have thought twice about that. I didn't even notice it. So you wouldn't think that some sort of fluid has leaked out and it's no, just... just no. thought it's that colour. Uh, yeah, so it looks like it's had a coolant leak at some point. However, oh. this looks new, yeah. this uh, thermostat housing. So we're, we're happy with that. Are we? Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good, that's good. Do you want to do, like, the most important check, Ethan? Oh, shit. The stage is yours. Yes. We're good. We're good? We're good. Right. Yeah. right. You. Pay the man. What do you think about this? That's new. That is new. What is it? That is the axle. No. Nope. Differential. No. Nope. Steering rack. <gasps> oh! Is it? Is it? 
Yeah! What we'll do is we'll edit all of that out yeah. to make it look like you just said that. Should we do that again? Oh, yeah. Oh, God, it looks like it's had a new steering rack put in. Oh, you're right, Ethan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're right. Got a bit of weeping coming from the, um, uh, what's that thing called, E? Uh, differential. Yeah, thank you, differential, yep. yeah. Don't worry. It's a bit tatty, but, you know, it's five grand, isn't it? It's also our only option at the minute, isn't it? And it is also our only option. Right, Jack, let's go test out this bit of Americana. Good start that it actually started. Yeah. Sold. No, not yet. Ah. We're moving, we're driving, sold. No, not yet. Okay. I feel weird in this. The seating position is strange. Don't I feel like I feel being on the wrong side of the road. I feel like I'm like on the bonnet. What's this stop like? Like a Mustang. Is that badly? <laughs> sold. Okay. Whoa. Oh that sound. That's actually quite satisfying. Yeah. Isn't it? This is the the best SN95 Mustang I've ever driven. Today? No, ever. Really? Yeah. Have you driven these? This no, this is the first time. <laughs> is this the best one you've ever been in? Yeah, it's the best one I've ever been a passenger in. Well then how can we not buy this car? Uh, uh, true, by that logic. <laughs> Should we have a quick word with the owner? Yeah. Harry, would you like to join us? Yeah. A few things that Ethan noticed. Yeah. We've got a new power steering rack. Power steering rack, yeah, yeah which yeah. is good. Uh, yeah. What else? Alternator look good? Yeah, it's got a new one of them. There was no milky residue, so no. you're happy with that? I'm happy with that. You did cool. notice a little bit of a weep coming from I the... I wasn't happy with that, well, <laughs> the differential. <laughs> the offer I want to give you today, on the basis of seeing it's four and a half, how do you feel about that? Terrible. Do you? Because <laughs> I, I feel really good about it. I mean, realistically, what's the price that you'd be happy with? I think we can meet in the middle. Yeah? All right, £4,600. We need to go back to school and do some maths. <laughs> yeah, my, my maths has never been my strong point. All right, so if we settle for 4750, oh. we'll all be happy. Three. Out of your hand! All right, I'm going to pay the man and then uh, we'll go on a little road trip. What's the plan? Where are we going first? Well, I thought we should try out some baseball. Some baseball? Yeah. Have you ever played, played baseball? I played rounders. It's like the same. Yeah, thing, I played it? rounders. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much the same thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Tell me about this Mustang, Eve. We're gonna play twenty-one guesses, okay. except I don't have twenty-one questions. What kind of power do you think this five-liter V8 would be making? Three hundred and fifty. You'd think that. You'd think that, wouldn't you? But you'd be wrong. What? Other way. Three hundred. <laughs> Get in there. Two. Four. Eighty. No, not quite. Two. Five, five. Keep going down. You're two, looking concerned. Two, 20. Almost. Close. This car has got 215 ah. horsepower. Nought to 60, what are we thinking? Nought to 60, 200 horsepower. It's got to weigh a bit, right? Uh, yeah, I guess, give a little guess on the weight. Guess 1.9. No. Jack, what's your guess? 16. No, you're both way off. 1,450 kilos. Oh, I wasn't that far off. 150 kilos off? You're yeah, like two yeah, people I, off. That was stupid. Yeah. yeah. Stupid guess. I think the 0 to 60 is just under eight seconds. I'll go 7.8. Ethan? 7.9. Oh, off. I think out of the book it's supposed to be 6.6. .6. Oh. No, no in way. It won't be. No, that's it a lie. Be. That's it just a, a damn lie. There's some history here. Oh, I'm up for that. There is some mystery, yeah, have a look at the pink folder. The pink folder of truth. Ah, oh, this is interesting. From 2014, differential cover gasket. We've got that weeping issue at the back, haven't we, at the minute? Yeah, yeah. So that probably needs redoing. Good news is the price on that is apparently six quid. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Photos. Oh, yeah? Of car bits having been done. Oh, excellent. So we do have some good history. Yeah, I've never seen that, though. Have you ever seen large printouts of previous work done. There's another, another one. There's another Mustang. Another one. Yeah. He gave us the nod. Yeah. Oh, yes. We're Mustang people. I haven't seen one of these in years on the UK Look road. That. That there's two of yeah. us. Look yeah. at us. Uh, he's, he's done some interesting stuff. By interesting, I mean not very nice. To my eye. Some people might like that. Me? Not a big fan. Looks like a cartoon, doesn't it? Should we go and play some baseball? Yeah. We gotta come up with some like you know they do like hand signs, don't they? Hut hut. To tell each other. Ten, time. one, ten, hut. No, that's American football. Curveball. Yeah. Like Mighty Ducks. That's ice that's hockey. That's ice hockey. 
Oh, oh careful now. Steady Stop. up. Right, so we've now arrived at our baseball ground, fit field pitch, and we're now going to go and play baseball. So but the rules are, you just got to hit it. One thing of note, this is a softball, <laughs> right? Soft. And, and this <laughs> is a, is is a, a hard, hard bat. <laughs> <laughs> Rock, scissor, paper. No, you cheated that one. You no, cheated. I didn't. You fucking cheated. Rock, scissor, paper, go. Oh! oh. Ready? Yeah. Right. Hut, hut. Send me a good one. Three, four. Hut, hut. Oh. What am I supposed to do with that? Oh, no fielder. Go. Isn't that how it works? Ball me. Ball me. Oh. <laughs> I'm a new batter. Alright. Go, Jack! Good game. Yeah, great game. I think we're, you now it's our sport. I'm gonna stick to PlayStation. Good Thank you very much. I've enjoyed being American today. Yeah. It's like we're at Fenway Park. Where's that? I've got to trust you on that one. Just being next to the Mustang, mm. I feel like it's already like a dependable old friend. Mm. It's just like cool, isn't it? Mm. Well, I was getting some shots of it earlier as well. It's actually an all right looking car, really. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. you get used to it, it is, it's a good looking car. Yeah. It's grown on me. Do you think RJ will be pleased with what car we got? I think so. I think we're pleased. I think he'll be pleased. Mm. We have technically got a pony car instead of a muscle car, though. We'll gloss over that bit. Okay. Baseball's quite difficult. Also quite boring. <laughs> it's just a lot of running. I think it... And a lot of not hitting. I think it probably helps you if you have a few more players. I think any more than three, and it would be wildly <laughs> better. So tomorrow, the plan is give this old girl the full Maguire's treatment, get her shining up real nice. But for now, cheers, boys. Cheers. cheers. Enjoy cheers. your burgers. Right, it is now the next day, and as you can see, we've got Mustang Harry sitting next to us. Very filthy. Yeah. We had a good day yesterday, but Harry is now a very dirty boy, so we're going to spend... Dirty Harry. Dirty Harry, very good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. <laughs> we're going to spend a few hours cleaning Harry because, I don't know if you can hear this, but there's lots of contaminants on here. We need yeah. to get all of that mm. stuff off. Uh. We need to make him shine, make him sparkle, the wheels need doing. I mean, there's lots of little bits that we can probably buff out on the roof, on the doors, the interior. Leather. The yeah. leather interior as well. So uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do now. And we're gonna get started with this ultimate wash and wax. Ready boys? Let's do it. Kick it! To start, Dirty Harry gets a quick blast with the pressure washer. I wanna come around there, I don't wanna get This is my half. This is where we find out how waterproof the car is. <laughs> it's like a fish tank. 
Then two buckets are filled, one with water to rinse our cleaning mitt, and the other with a mixture of ultimate wash and wax and water to do the cleaning. Let's get it proper foaming. Right, so now that the buckets are full, one with the product and one with clear water, Jack is now going to take over. Going to dunk in the one product first. Yep. Couple of wipes around, agitate everything. Yeah. And then rinse it off in the clean bucket. I'm so proud. You oh. don't do it like that. Circular motions. Oh, is it? No, not really. You are agitating it so hard. We're just good at agitating around we here, are, aren't yeah. we? You're the best agitator I know, I oh, think. Oh, thanks, man. You're so agitating. Once Jack has been around the whole car, we then rinse off in preparation for the next step. Right, so now that the car is clean, I'm gonna use this microfiber water magnet drying towel. Ready? Ready. Let's do it. Oh, that is actually oh, very that effective. Is really good. <laughs> right, so now that the car has been cleaned, that doesn't mean that the job has been done. There's still a lot of contaminant on the paintwork, so we need to get that off. And for that, we're gonna use this hybrid ceramic detailer. So the way this works is that you give the bodywork a light misting and then use this pad and work in small areas. And then that will lift off all the horrible contaminants that we don't want and make it real smooth. I've had to put a gazebo up because it started raining. We don't want to polish in the rain, do we? We don't. No, that would be a bad idea. So luckily, Alex has this excellent gazebo. This is one of the best I've ever seen. Yeah, shout out to my girlfriend's parents for giving us the gazebo. You think I paid for this? <laughs> I don't pay for anything. This is hard work, all this. Yeah, right. yeah, oh, yeah no, from? thanks for your help today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've been a real asset to the team. Behind the scenes, I've done so much. You've been a real ass to the team. <laughs> and now we're going to move on to ultimate polish. <laughs> Look at that placement. Have you ever seen anything like it? Do me five dots on here, please. You sure you want five? Yeah, if you can count that high. <laughs> all right, let me give it a bit of a shake first. One. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Four. Almost. Five. One more. One more. There, there we go. go. So it's the same procedure pretty much as the cutting compound. Just dab it along it and then work away. Not that kind of dab either. Because that was like a year ago. A year ago? Five. Five years ago. Do it. That is dead, isn't it? Do you want me to come and finish your job? Yeah, give it a wipe down. Let's see what this looks oh. like. And this is going to get rid of all the micro scratches? Yeah, all the teeny tiny stuff. Nice. Look at that. I mean, look, it's like a mirror finish. Right, Jack, now is the final step. Wax. Yes. Hybrid ceramic wax. Oh! Right. Sounds good. Wax me, Blazer, and then I'm going to apply it to the car. Hear that? Sounds like a yop. <laughs> You're obsessed oh. with yop. I like you? yops. Yops are nice. All right, yop me up. Oh! Oh! Right, there we go, that'll do oh. us. There we go, we got a nice big dollop there. Little little bit of dabs there, and I'm gonna go in little circular motions. And then you wait, Jack. The beading, when we remove this gazebo, is gonna be insane. Speaking of which, let's see how hydrophobic our Mustang is now. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that, you can dry it by making it wet. Oh. Right, so what we're going to do now is to tackle the interior using this ultimate leather detailer three-in-one that cleans, restores, and protects. So all you need to do is get your cloth, spray it on the cloth, and then wipe away any grimy nastiness. And yeah, believe me when I say that, that does not look healthy, does it? Jack, out of 10, what kind of tat score would you give that? That's an 11 on the tat scale, isn't it? That's someone's neck sweat. That is neck sweat. Right, so I'm just going to... 10 out of tat. 10 out of 10. <laughs> that is 10 out of 10. That is. Right, let's apply this and then see if we can get rid of some of this tat. How's that's that look? Oh, wow. Up. That's annihilated that tat. That's got rid of it completely. That's is, awesome. Is it, is it on your cloth? Yeah. Oh. That is rough. That's done an amazing job. Yeah. I'm super impressed with that. That is just pure neck sweat, isn't it? Lick it. I'm not go licking on. that. I'm not going anywhere. No, go near. on, lick it. Lick it. Oh! oh <laughs> Grim. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now the car is being cleaned inside and outside. The final thing to do is to Maguire's the car with an air freshener. Right then, clean Harry, you've just been Maguired. So as you can see, it is now a new day. Reason being is because it was raining last time. 
and we couldn't show off the car in the rain, could we? That would just be stupid of us. So here we are, Dirty Harry, now Clean Harry. I'm super proud of what we've achieved. We also played baseball. Ethan actually won, you smashed us, fair play. Did he? Yeah, I, I think yeah, he so. He kind of did, I'm going to allow him that. We had some really good food and a very good American day was had. Anyway, make sure you stick with us because next week we're going to be doing another video with Clean Harry living with a Mustang in the UK. We're going to do an MPG test plus more. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe to the Car Throttle YouTube channel by clicking on this link. You can watch more videos down there and also check out all the Meguiar's products that we used in the link in the description below. We'll see you next time. Howdy how? Come on, boys. Yeehaw! Ooh!